when there has ever been a time for one man to say he is here to bring entertainment to all he must stand out face the crowd and i really can't do that with that my eyes hey guys yes is back it is a star man without another episode here a uh, minecraft pocket advices so hello everybody and you know all that so uh oh <laughs> Ah, well, we can worry about that later. Ugh. Really need to find a way of how to recalibrate these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weird. Kind of like wings flapping. Oh, it hit. Anyway, guys, it is episode three of my Redstone Showcase series. Redstone Devices. Anyway, while that wall is burning down, let's go on. Ha busky. So yeah, well that mess of a uh oh. Yeah, I'll fix that later. Anyway, well that mess of a fire is oh my god, why? <sighs> Whatever, I can just repair this later. Anyway you guys, I'm going to show you guys that are two models of one amazing item known only as the redstone tree. By the way, anybody who actually has epilepsy, I must ask that you leave the video right now because there are actually going to be rapid flashing lights and any form of, well, you guys get the picture. What the hell? Okay, so clearly and righty. Oh yeah, I got that going. I got the fire going. I'm about to have those stuff going. Yeah, sorry, sorry people. This is me being a dingus. Man, you know what? Eh, it, that's kind of what people on YouTube do best. Be a bunch of dimwits. In a way. But don't worry, guys. These redstone trees are... Actually, they have no main use whatsoever. They're just purely aesthetic. But, uh, you know, whatever. So, what you're going to need in order to build one of these uh, flashy, lighty trees, and this one's just a short version, don't worry, is to actually first create an entire redstone clock that can align with how long you want the trees to go. Whether you want double lights going on at one time, whether you actually want uh, just one light going on, it, arrange it as a fucking way you want, I don't care. I mean, I am a guy who made this, but still. What I choose to use is that of a observer block. Due to that of the short, itty, teeny, tiny, bitty redstone signal, it releases once placed down, and take a look at this. You must admit, that is an amazing light show. And look at that, it even syncs up with itself. And this is actually kind of the main importance with that of the redstone tree. This is just the first model, a... Uh, Complicated model, but you know, ultimately the one that won't lag your world up to hell. <laughs> but uh, we are about to see that version as we now visit this version. Now, for those of the people with epilepsy, uh, you guys remember that warning I gave at the beginning of the episode, right? Yeah, that counts for now. The... Hmm. This is something wrong here. Can't quite figure out what. Yeah, but don't worry, guys. I say, uh, maybe we just slow this down a tiny bit. Uh oh. Yeah, you're gonna want to make sure though that you avoid what I just did. Now watch this. Uh, this <laughs> speed is actually. A pure fuck up by yours truly. But, you know, uh, we can do better. We can do better. Like I say, uh, we speed it up a tiny bit. Like a couple of notches. Nachos. Electra. <laughs> what am I talking about? And now uh, I screwed up Royal. Because what you're going to want to do with these redstone trees is actually create that of a specialized pattern. Otherwise, unless, of course, you actually want your house to just go tits up, in a way, then, uh, 
yeah, yeah. I, I suggest actually going too slow and too fast at the same time. Uh, depending on the frequency and movement you want, you're actually going to want that about a really, really, really uh, precise amount with how much you're going to want to do it. You know, like say uh, how fast you want the redstone torches to go out or how long you want the signal to reoccur. But in any case, that's enough of that. In which case, Shibuski. Shibuski. I had to turn those off because, uh, well, pretty much the rest of the world ends up lagged at this point. Especially with something as awesome as... Uh-oh. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, you guys, this is actually known as the spritzer. Instead of a small redstone contraption, in which is supposed to actually release out of multiple different types of potion effects. Let's say a bit of night vision, a bit of a jump boost... Some fire resistance, some swiftness, uh, water breathing, and ch -ch 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 regeneration. Then a bit of strength for extra, but extra awesome mighty power. Yeah. And then what you're going to want to do is load each one in. Just one walk through, and you get the nice sweet perfume you always wanted. Uh, no, that's, that's not a... It's not really a, a, a joke against the anybody. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I'm not trying to be offensive. Anyway. Let's go spread some of this good side. Well, at least they got the good side. Boink! Shaboom! Habuski! Shadingo! Uh-oh. <laughs> Shadingo, what the fuck am I saying? Ah! Okay. Okay, anyway, this is kind of how you want it to go. You see, right here is the main pressure plate, and over here is... I don't know why these areas are hollow. Uh, boop. And shabada boop. So, yeah. These two areas are where you're going to mainly want to uh, light up. Because these two torches automatically activate the spritzers. Or rather, these dispensers in which will release the potions you want. But, it's only going to release the two if you just stick with the one extra layer. What you're also going to want is that of an entire redstone wire drooped overhead. And then, uh, well, in order to get things going, you also need repeaters. And that's about all I can say. <laughs> because I, I, I just have to ask this crap. But, then again... We here's something though that is pretty hard to uh, half ass. These are actually block extenders. Now, later or not, the timing on these have to be just right, and which of course you actually have to make sure that it can actually take whatever block you want and bring it back automatically. Or, uh, you know, this could actually be used to. Push or pull things. It could be used to say, I don't know, make entire walls appear out of thin air. Like say, if you actually had like the wall here and you actually had a doorway here, you can actually press a button like so, and you'd actually have a door closed. Or you could go that way and have that of an entire hidden super secret door. However, people, if you are a redstone lover, do not forget to pray every night to Mumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> In fact, uh, I'm pretty sure that Mumbo left me something here. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Ooh, diamond sword. Ah! What the hell? What the... Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh god, that's right. I, I, I created this. Uh, this is actually that of a specialized trap chest dispenser. What you especially want is, uh, well, well, not really a trap chest. You can use that of a redstone comparator. Uh, well, basically speaking, with a redstone comparator, it actually has the ability to analyze how much items you actually have in your chest, and then it can give off a signal strong enough to actually, uh, you know, do something about it. 
but it actually gives all the signal dependent on how many items you actually have taking up space in here. Not how many items are stacked up, not how many items make me want to say how many times I gave a fuck. It's the amount of items that take up all the space. All the way from up to that sword to that blank stuff. Ah I'm glad I'm not in survival mode. I am so glad I am not in survival mode. I would have been wrecked there. I would have been wrecked like... I, I, I would have been wrecked like... Uh, what's a good movie reference? Oh yeah, I would have been wrecked like uh, Kathy Bates' own health levels. <laughs> God, I am that good at doing stuff on the fly. Basically, if you actually want something more automatic, I might suggest utilizing that of a redstone comparator and the same setup, but with a trap chest, so that the moment though they do anything, well, never mind. I <laughs> wouldn't. I would not work. Let's just say, oh, that's something that would not work whatsoever. And uh, well, basically, what the comparator does is send that of a redstone signal about how many items are in there to this repeater, which shuts this off. Which stops the transmission of any kind of redstone signal up to here to not launch anything up here. So as long as nobody steals from here. Move back! Shoo! Big problem, however. <clears throat> it can be kind of an issue if you uh <laughs> try to hit that. I mean try try to try to get in there and not hit that. Yeah, sure, you want to have sex with a dispenser. <laughs> And uh, that's pretty much all we got here. In which case, if I can actually get any extra views here, we may actually get part four. And might I say, you guys, guess is back, back, back. <laughs> Saw man's back. Anyway, I'm still sorry about the hiatus, everybody. I was just stuck with so much last-minute crap for school. Uh -oh. And uh, basically, I really got to speed this up. I was actually stuck with a bunch of after-school crap I had to deal with at school. And uh, basically, I actually was stuck with three nights worth of school work. Actually, not the last night. I was absolutely tired. I was getting picked on for that of a tiny bit. But, 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 but it's, it's no problem, really. It's no problem. Everything's fine. Everything's good. I'm back. I'm here to stay. So then, that was episode three for Redstone Devices, the new weekly series over here at Starman Gaming. And if you actually did like this video, might I suggest hit might I suggest beating down that like button about as hard as you can. And if you actually do want to show us some extra love or see any extra videos by me, then be sure to actually hit that subscribe button down below and also click that little bell. If you actually want to see any more content by me. But until then you guys are all beautiful. Thanks for watching. You guys have been awesome. As always, see you next time. Goodbye.